stay here and debate where we debunk, debate, and discover all things here. Welcome back. Yes, it's the Hair Debate Show. Today we are talking hair is hair. And let me introduce my panel today. They are absolutely beautiful. I tell you, Amanda Nicholson, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am doing great. Our marriage and family therapist, she is. She is. Um, you know what? Proves God is doing some stuff. I'm loving it. Yes, we are. So we post the videos every Thursday okay. on YouTube. Um, and you can check us out on Instagram. Um, and I do speaking engagement okay. and everything like that. So oh, check lovely. us out. That's and beautiful. Book me. Uh, uh, mm, yes. <laughs> Soon. ASAP book. now. Yes. No, for real. Dr. Donna Ariwo. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. How I, are did you? I get that right? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Oreo. Uh, okay. Wow. Oreo Wo. Aria, well, Whoa. she is. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, how are you doing today, Dr. I'm Donna? Doing great. Okay, Dr. Donna has her doctorate in sexuality, but there's some also some other things that you just got certified in. Certified sex therapist, y'all. Okay, okay. Hey. I am loving some another credential up on her belt. I'm just saying. I love it. I love it. I'm Monique Randall. How are you doing today? Right, and you? Oh, girl, those brows. I'm just saying. Oh, they Poppin'. talking to me. Yeah. Oh, they, they speak in several different languages. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come over. Take a look. Several different languages. <laughs> I love it. You know what, Monique? You've been in the industry for some time now. I have. I've been in the industry over 10 years, and I'm loving it. I love hair. Ah. Oh. Hair. What do you love about it? That around and you better say that. Oh, is everything right? Oh, yes, everything. it is. <laughs> from from a client. As a recipient of the look. Are you like, oh, that's me. <laughs> like, oh, oh, I that's... ain't gonna have no ad cry. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Thus that's is the topic <laughs> today. Hair is hair. I, I'm just saying. So now when it comes to hair is hair. Okay, so now, you know, we think about black hair, white hair. I'm just going to just say, you know, what it is. And, but you know what was interesting is that we're not taught that in school. You know, so being a master cosmetologist for over 20 years, we are not taught the white hair, black hair. So let me just ask you a question when it comes to, from a client perspective, okay? Now, when it comes to, you know, when you think about your hair, do you think that, it, that there is a difference of products or whatnot? For your hair versus do you feel like you can use a white product so remember we talked about this yes when we had the other stylist on a few episodes ago yes and you all revealed to us <laughs> that all our products made in the same factory and <laughs> And I was like, well, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. But um, I think people just find products that work for them. So okay. Um, okay. I've used um, like that VO5 you can get from the Dollar do Tree. You now? I don't do it now. I, I was about to um, say <laughs> I'll do it now. Um, but I've used um, Dove shampoo on my hair and it okay. actually works very very well for my hair and now i've sw i've used cantu i love cantu because it smells so good okay but what's really working for my hair right now mm. is um by palmer's um okay. the cocoa butter company but yes. they make shampoo okay. and i think it it also depends on where you are in your life and how old you are because your hair changes and it does over time and it so does. i think it just depends on you and your personal preference mm. yeah what about you dr donna well, since I've been natural, I try to use all natural products. Okay. And I did my very best to make sure I was seeking out black-owned products. So okay. they were already whipping things in a way that was supposed to be for us. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, I just, what works for me works for me. If it don't work for you, like, hey, we're not the same person. That's okay. You go find what works for you. Right now, I use whatever my, my hairdresser tells me to use, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so now let me ask you this. So now when you say that, you know, I go and I look for a black hair care product. Mm -hmm. Okay, now would that be per supporting the company? Or do you feel that, okay, well, only black products, come, you know, black-owned products? 
I try to keep my well, money in the black community as much as possible. Okay, absolutely. So I okay. Buy a lot of products through um, a website called Black and Green. Oh, uh, really? Black people that are trying to be green about their business. All right now. Um, but the you know the main things that I use for my skin and my hair is the same okay. product. It's called Really. Good by Onye Handmade, and they're um, located not too far from where I live. I live in Maryland. They're in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, wow. So um, I've been using <laughs> that that whip pudding. The skin is courtesy and, 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 of and, and I'm just saying. pudding. <laughs> <laughs> this hair is courtesy of whipped pudding. Okay. So, I mean, I just, I like to stick. Once I find what what works well for me. Absolutely. When it stops Absolutely. working, I switch up. Okay. But until that time, I'm going to be a whipped pudding baby. Okay, but I I'm like the that. same. Like I can't use um, coconut oil in my hair because it makes nope. my scalp burn. It makes it itch. Wait. So I know you know. <laughs> yeah, my I've never heard yeah that. my scalp gets inflamed, so I can't use it, and it's just very uncomfortable. And like yes. like I said, Palmer's works because they have that a whole olive oil line, and exactly. my scalp gets really dry right here. But as soon as I put some of that on there, it's moisturized, and we good to go. But now, yeah. Are you allergic? So, so uh, right, because that would be. Huh? The I don't know. I just it, so, it, it felt. Try to eat a coconut? <laughs> no, I don't like coconuts. But uh, when my well, when my scalp was feeling a little heat, I mm -hmm. said we we doing this. Right, we do it. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, <laughs> right. No, no, and it is, and it is. And so, but Monique, being a master, you know, being in the hair industry, okay, a cosmetologist. Now, let me ask you this. Um, so, hearing the fact that, you know, having a client to come in and she say, okay, well, you know, I use coconut or in my scalp, it burns, it itches and whatnot. What would that be the first indicator for you? One is, are you allergic? That's, that would be my first indicator. But to pick back off what um, Dr. Donna said, yeah, it, it all depends on your, you know, what works for your hair. Because what might work for her hair might not work for yours. So it's Paul Mutual product, I'm pretty sure, um, that works for one person's hair, but not for another. So it all depends on what works for you. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, are you allergic? Um, then the next step, okay, is talk to the dermatologist. Exactly. And so, Monique, is so very interesting, again, that, you know, like you were just saying, people don't tend to think about that, you know, them being allergic to certain products. And so that is very important. I absolutely love it. You know, again, like in school, we're taught that hair is hair. You know, we're talked about the textures and whatnot and, and not according to the products and whatnot, but so much has evolved when it comes to products because now, you know, people are understanding, you know, for my hair, let me ask you a question. Have you had anyone that sit in your chair and they would say, well, my hair, uh, so now, they, <laughs> okay, this, <laughs> my hair needs, my hair, to, you know, my hair. And I'm trying not to roll my eyes. And <laughs> like, okay, like, listen, but no, yes, a lot of times, my hair, well, this person, my hair, so okay, well, listen, baby, if you don't trust me right now, Absolutely. You have your home regimen. Absolutely. If you look to sit me down in my chair, we're going to do this the correct way. Absolutely. Gonna, uh, examine your scalp, see what it is, and then, okay, we're going to suggest the correct products for you to use at home. No, exactly. Because you know what? Um, again, because you see almost like the same textures on different ethnicities, you know. So for white individuals, it's the fine and straight hair which can also be on a black individual. You know, you have that, you know, Irish, you know, um, which their hair texture is like drier. It, you know, it has that feel to it. It's like that, well, most people would say that dirty red. You know, that's a that's an old term from <laughs> back in the day, okay? <laughs> and so they would say that dirty red, but it has like that drying look to it, you know? May not be drying, but just the look to it. And so, um, and don't let it lose its luster. Oh, it looks all the way dried out, you know, and hard to manage, you know. But now you can see that texture on black individuals as well as white. And so, and, and now we've come into this whole, you know, evolution of the, the biracial, 
you know, and so, you know, having that, that, you know, we have the Asians, you know, um, the black, white, I mean, you know, so it's changing now, it's evolving now. And so, and you, you're seeing it in the hair. And so companies are having to step it up and go, the chemists are going back to, you know, the lab, you know? And so now what are some things that you have seen evolve when it comes to hair? Um, well, you know, we have our own section <clears throat> in the, uh, <laughs> in the store now yes um, i know which aisle to go on <laughs> when i go to walmart and target i know exactly where my hair care products are and i think that's awesome and the fact that we do have so many black owned hair care product lines now yes um, and more so the independently owned ones and i think that's awesome because hair is hair but sometimes black hair needs a little more mm. moisture right and it does a little more oomph Mm -hmm. um and you know it's good that we have people that actually specialize in their hair care products and it's gone to the point where you have these big companies now they slapping on labels on stuff saying for naturals yes and it's like really is it really for me or, <laughs> you know did you absolutely. just put that fake for me fake right for me. absolutely <laughs> uh, Donna, what about you what do you see evolving I, I feel like i'm in a different space about it i think that maybe for for those who style hair who do okay hair, hair is hair. Okay. But I often come up from it from a sociological perspective. And hair is not just hair. This is the debate. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> hair can be a determinant for getting or keeping a job. It can be okay. the determinant for losing That's a right. job. It That's right. That's right. It's a social determinant as well. Absolutely. Do you get a partner? What kind of partner do you get? What kind of partner do you attract with your hair? Absolutely. How comfortable do you feel in your hair? So hair is not just hair in that sense. Absolutely. A lot of people take a lot of time, especially black people. We spend more time and more money on and, our hair. And, and does, 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 does. So, I'm like, is hair just hair for us? No, because it also tells whether or not you're clean, whether or not yeah. you are a kempt individual, all right. whether or not you are a smart individual. All right. Um, all these things come back to your hair. And of course, then you have to talk about the skin tone with it. But keeping it on hair, hair ain't just hair. Mm. Now when it comes to in my therapy office, it's not just hair. So, I mean, I, I can definitely understand that, okay, you have this texture, you have this texture, you have this porosity, you have that porosity. Here is the plan for how we are going to proceed with your hair from a hair care industry standard. But when it sits in my, my office, yes. it's not just hair. Mm. So it really depends on your profession. I guess, because you all are taught, like, hair is hair. Like, you're sp not supposed to discriminate against different hair textures. But on our perspective, from a sociological perspective mm -hmm. or clinical perspective, we're looking at how people's hair is affecting them in their everyday lives and their relationships, um, getting a job. Um, I know even me, when I was going to my interview for my um, both of my graduate schools, I had, like, this big like almost anxiety around how I should mm. wear my hair wow. to these interviews because I can understand that. they are predominantly white institutions. <clears throat> Absolutely. And people from other ethnicities, they don't have to think about that. Exactly. And I have to think about, oh my God, am I going to get my hair straightened? Or am I going to wear my twist out to this interview? Am I going to yes. pull it back? Absolutely. Or, as professional, or am I right. going to look like I'm too much of a hippie? Exactly. There's a lot of what? questions that come up with it. And thinking from that psychological perspective, even within the context of your education, it has me wondering, is hair just hair? Or is it that this is the rule that has been on high, that this has been the standard, and then we pass it down as though it actually applies to everybody when it don't. But, but no, we're taught hair is hair in school because the, the point behind the goal for a client coming in is, you know, wanting to grow the hair. I mean, that's, you know, they're either wanting to make some type of changes to it, you know, and or supporting the change, then grow it to, for it to be healthy. You know, so that's what they are looking for. Except it, but, that is not supported. When well, we think about, when we think about Hollywood, Hollywood, right? Right. Many of the black actors and actresses have come forward talking about how they are never prepared to deal with their hair. And, and I can understand that. Like, I can understand man, that. I look like when I see but, these but, lazy wigs slapped on black <laughs> hair, I just be like, yo. And a lot of them, 
and thing. right, and a lot of them say they like, they either go get their hair braided before for certain roles, or they are they get their own wigs, or they have their stylists do their hair before they come to set, versus those who are white because we know they be in all the movies, right? So that's they are I always guess. prepared to do their hair. They don't well, have I the mean, tools. That, that's why I'm saying, like, for people like you, you are black. So then you're taught how to deal with white folk hair and our hair. White folk well, don't seem to be taught how to deal with our I, hair. No, no, right? but, that, but so no. that's what I'm saying is the education. No, really actually they are. Are you bringing in some of your own stuff from your own upbringing about how no, to deal well, with Well, hair? no, actually they are. Because in school, once you are placed on that clinical floor, yeah. then you have to service. And, and I remember students sitting off to the side almost in tears. Like, no, I, <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I don't, please don't make me, you know. It, but now they could not turn down. You could not just service what was comfortable for you, you know. And so, you know, I think that that is, is absolutely great to see the mindsets and from a client standpoint, then from a professional standpoint. Would you like to add anything before we end this segment? Like, when you think about it, as far as interviews, like, yeah, you have to actually sit and think about, okay, well, how should I go about that? Absolutely. Exactly, exactly. No, so when I tell you, I'm truly excited in what we have exposed on this topic, you know, of hair is hair. You know, one being looking at it from a professional standpoint, looking at it from a client, from a stylist standpoint. And so definitely stay tuned. All right, we have Chef V which is not with us today, but she has left us with someone that, from her team, that is phenomenal. So do stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carly Red, and you are watching The Hair Debate. Don't forget to debate about the hair because it's coming soon at to a city near you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, love. And welcome back. We have someone that we are about to bring on the platform from our team, Chef V, which is not with us today. You miss you, Chef V, but you have left us with someone that is absolutely beautiful. Liana, bring it out today. What are we rocking with? I love how that looks. You better do that, lady. Oh, I love how that looks. So that is a shrimp cocktail. This is served cold, and today this is a teriyaki shrimp cocktail. Oh, teriyaki. Okay, so now we all know, that, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now we all know that um, shrimp is, we're talking about a great protein, and then the iodine, okay, and what it does, you know, for the hair as well. Okay, so now the teriyaki, is it a little spicy? Um, it's a little spicy, a little tangy. Okay, get that, the stimulation, and, and I don't even know this technically, but it just sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> But when I tell you, um, but now you can add a little tomato to that. Can Just you? A little, um, maybe a little tomato base or um, puree some tomatoes and mix it with the teriyaki. Oh, I like okay. that. Okay. Uh, oh, you now you uh, you uh, ooh, you made me excited when you said that. Look at look at. I love that. Well, you know what? I can't wait to partake because it Enjoy, is absolutely. I'm just. Okay, this is kind of spot. I'm gonna really get into this when I take that break. <laughs> <laughs> also, it has a little chives on top just for fun. A little greenery, you know. That girl. Oh my god. That's tasty. <laughs> no, isn't it? That's yeah, because I'm going to demolish this off camera because it's going to get sloppy. So when I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. It was absolutely beautiful. And this is our segment here on the Hair Debate Show. Again, my name is Morello King with my beautiful guests that we have here, Monique Randall and my hey. panel. Oh, they are beautiful. And we have with us Liana that Chef V has brought with us today. So again, the platform, the Hair Debate. 
This is where we debunk, debate, and discover all things here.